I just started putting coconut oil in my hair, um, just to pre poo it. Are you trying to be in this video? She's not trying to be in the video. I just started putting coconut oil in my hair as a pre-poo and I'll let it sit for like 20 minutes just to collect the dirt and then it'll be easier to wash it out with my handy dandy cream and nature shampoo that I always use. Um, so I'm going to continue that and then I am going to apply this Afogee 2 step protein treatment. Um, it's supposed to be really good. Since I'm about to put a sewing in my hair, um, I want my hair to go into the process strong and healthy. Um, so I'm going to put the, cook, the protein treatment in and then blow dry it and moisturize it and we'll be set. So yeah, without further ado. As I stated before, I used the organic coconut oil as a pre-poo for my hair. Um, I put it in about 20 minutes before I actually wash my hair to collect any dirt and just make sure it slips out easily when I wash it with shampoo. My shampoo process is pretty much the same if you watch my winter wash day routine. I just part my hair and then make sure I get my shampoo on my scalp and scrub and then I will detangle, finger detangle um, after that. After rinsing out each section, I will use the Afogee two-step protein treatment to add some strength to my hair before I get my sew-in. Again, as you can see, I section my hair to do any process. I pour the two-step protein treatment into a narrow nozzle bottle um, for easy application. As you can see, the protein treatment is a brownish color in the bottle. Um, after pouring it in there, I put the cap on and then apply it to each section of my hair. The instructions say to do this quickly as the protein treatment will harden and you won't be able to move your hair after a couple minutes. After thoroughly saturating my hair with the protein treatment, it's time to dry it. I use a blow dryer on the highest speed in the middle setting. Because the instructions say you don't want to manipulate your hair as in putting your fingers in it and bending it and such, so I used the blow dryer at a far distance to make sure that I was putting heat on it but not blowing the hair around. Once my hair is nice and hard, after about 20 minutes, it's time to rinse it out. After obsessing over how soft my hair was after the protein treatment, it was time for the balancing moisturizer. The moisturizer is used to add some of the health, healthy oils back into your hair that the protein may have stripped out. I made sure to coat each strand with the moisturizer and left it on for two minutes per instruction. The next order of business is to use my Trust Therapy Growth Conditioner and my Africa's Best Herbal Oil to moisturize my hair. I skipped the part where I sectioned out my hair, since y'all have seen that like a million times, and just went right on into the moisturization. 
The last thing to do before blow drying is brushing my hair out to further detangle and twisting it up. This will give me easier, smaller sections to blow dry. After I twisted up all my hair and moisturized each section, it was time to blow dry. I used the Cream of Nature Argon Oil Heat Defense as my heat protectant. I like to use the tension method in this situation. Since my hair doesn't need to be bone straight, won't be straightened, um, it's just getting braided up under a sew-in, then the tension method works just fine. I had to do a quick length check since my hair was blow dried, semi blow dried. Um, I hadn't put heat in my hair since probably 2014, uh, so I had no idea how long it was. Um, so I checked real quick. After blow drying my hair, I'm done with my natural hair prep for sewing. I just had to make it presentable for school and class since I was actually getting the sew-in the next day, so I decided to just put it in two puff balls and call it a night. Thank you for watching Beanie Jean's natural hair pack with a sew-in. Please don't forget to watch the rest of the videos in the series, and always remember, you might as well smile.